Hey, hi everybody. Dave Dirge here. Welcome to Rapid Assault Tactics. This is our third show. And uh, if you would please like and subscribe and tell your friends all about it. Uh, and first of all, I want to thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for watching our videos. Okay, watching our show and watching our videos. We really, really, really appreciate it. And I want you to know this. Anything that you would like me to go over, talk about, go over, email me or send me a comment or even text me and let me know and I'd be more than happy to go over it. In the future here, we are getting ready to do a women's self-defense program, so we'll be having a lot of videos about that and a lot of different stuff we have. But today... What I want to talk about, and always remember what we are about, is for the normal, everyday person, street self-defense, for out here on the street. We're not worried about the MMA, the box, and all that, they're all, they're all great, but we are worried about the average Joe, how they can protect themselves today in this world, okay? So today what this show is about, we're going to talk about the knife, okay, and I'm going to show some videos. The knife, the blade, anything that cuts. I want you to understand how serious a knife is. See, I, I, I talk to a lot of people, I get phone calls, I get emails and stuff and you know about the blade, about the knife, you know, and and people just don't get I don't understand, they don't get how serious it is. It is very serious. I mean I've talked to some people in law enforcement that believe that uh, if they're in a knife fight, they'll stick their arm out and let the guy cut the arm and they'll stab him. This, is, this stuff is, is foolish, foolishness, total foolishness. I mean, it really is. You have to understand how dangerous a blade is. It doesn't matter how big the blade is or how expensive it is, doesn't matter. And what is a blade? It could be a busted DVD. It could be, you know, a, a bottle busted, a piece of glass, anything that cuts. Now, we do a lot of training with the blade, but our purpose for the training is the blade is the attributes. In all my training, what we are about is attributes, okay? We want the attributes, the body mechanics, we want that to excel way, way up. So we're going to talk about the blade here, and you know, not to brag or anything, but I've been in martial arts now for 53 years, so I think I have some knowledge. I've been blessed to train with some of the best people in the, in the world who has now passed away. So with that being said, I, I think I have some understanding of the blade. I've seen many of street fights, you know, been in a few myself, you know, so I, I believe I have that understanding. But the first thing I want you to do is I did a little video here and I, I, I hung up a piece of, uh, of uh, meat, piece of chicken, I don't know, probably about this big, maybe that long. You know, let's say it'd be like your forearm, okay, something like that. Yeah, I hung up uh, uh, a piece of string there and I stopped at uh, the hardware store and I bought a little knife, $6 knife. That's all it is, a little knife, $6 knife, and I shot this video to show you how dangerous a blade is that I've used to get cut with it. Okay? Check this video out. Okay, well I'm going to show you how dangerous a blade is. People don't realize how dangerous a blade is. I've heard people say to me if they're in a knife fight, they'll stick out their arm, let the guy cut him in the arm, then they'll stab him. A, a blade is very dangerous. What is a blade? Anything that cuts, bust the bottle, glass, this what, whatsoever. I stopped at the hardware store, bought a six dollar knife here. That's all this is. Nothing special. I got a piece of meat hanging here. Let's say that'd be like the size of your forearm or the size of your bicep. So I'll give you an idea what it looked like. Here's what it looked like. That would be your forearm or your bicep. You got the understanding of a blade now? Alright. Okay. Do you see that? <laughs> what do you think of that? A slice 
And that was it. Now, if that was your arm, your arm would be hanging. I mean, if that was your pack, you'd, you'd be laid open. What's going to happen? You're going to be laid open. Your blood's going to be gouging out. And the body's going to go into shock. It's going to try to slow down to save your life. Okay, which is a good thing, but when the body goes to shock, you can't do anything. So you see how severe a knife is. It's deadly. It is deadly. Okay, so I want you to understand that. All right, and what we're going to do in this uh, show here, I'm going to show some different videos of how we train and, and about the knife and about how serious the knife is and 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 what not to do, and of course what to do, you know, and not saying I have all the answers, but again, I've been doing this a long time, so I do believe I have some, uh, I do believe I have some information here, you know, to, uh, to show you. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with um, a video, all right, I'm going to show you what not to do. Okay, because there's a lot of things out there, and I'm not putting anybody down. There's a lot of things out there when somebody has a blade, it's all about grabbing their arm and doing this and doing that. I want to explain something to you. It's called pain. You have to create pain. And you have to create pain on the first beat. So what I am saying here, if you go and grab, which is a normal thing what everybody does. They go and grab, okay, now you are in a struggle. You're in a struggle now, and when you're in a struggle, it's going to determine who's going to win is who's in better shape, who's stronger. All of them scenarios is what's going to come into play. You have to create pain. Our strategy and what we do is pain, pressure, balance. So you have to create pain. Whether you're hitting with the hand, kicking with the leg, whatever, but pain. Pain changes the game. And then what we do as this person is in pain, we borrow that moment in time to give them more pain. But if you don't create pain, you are going to be in a struggle. Okay? So we're going to go to a video here. And I'm going to show this video of what not to do. Okay, check this out. Okay, on this here, what we're doing is I'm going to show you what not to do. So he has a blade, and he's stabbing at me in close quarters. When he stabs at me, I see people grab like this here. Then they try to do something with the arm or different stuff, or move this arm, or somehow whatsoever. But when you grab, you're into a situation where you're going to go into a struggle. And this is what we don't want to do. We want to create pain. Got to create pain. So as he stabs, and I do this, number one, look at I'm not even out of the way. And the main thing I want you to understand, as he is, and I'm grabbing, doing anything, he has this complete side to what? He could come in and grab, he could hit, he could kick, he could do something. Something's coming from that side. Okay, I want you to understand that. This is not a good scenario to go in. When you do that, you are into a struggle. And who's going to win? Who's strong? Okay. So you've seen that there. What I'm showing is, so let's say somebody's stabbing at you, and now this person, I'm trying to grab their arm. Okay, so I go into a struggle, I grab, their, I grab their arm, trying to hold on to that arm so that blade doesn't get to me, okay? And we might be in a struggle back and forth, all right? Now, if you notice there, I created no pain. No pain whatsoever that I, I create, okay? So, let's say the guy or the person is stabbing with their right hand, and I grab the right hand, well, you have a left side. See, so people forget about this. You have a left side. So, a punch could come from that side. A grab could, something is going to come from that side. So, while you're struggling with this person here, they may hit you. They may kick you. 
They may grab you with the other hand. Okay? See, they're still what we call in good shape. In other words, what I mean in good shape, they have not been interrupted with pain. Okay? So you don't want to get into any type of struggle. I've seen people where they're showing stuff with a blade, the guy stabs, they, they're in a struggle holding on to the guy's arms, they're bouncing off the walls. I see where they fell on the ground and they're holding on to the guy's arm with the blade. You know, if that blade touches you, you've seen that video, if that blade touches you, it could be the worst night fighter in the world. The guy falls on you, touches you. You just took a heck of a cut. Okay? So what we're looking at right now is, of course, the stab. You know, so it could be a stab this way. It could be a stab coming this way. So we're looking at this way here. But they went into grabbing. Okay? They created no pain. They went right into grabbing. Okay? Now what I want you to do is check out this video. So we're showing what we would do, okay, to create pain and how to deal with a blade coming at us. All right, give that a shot. Okay, so here we are again. He's got a blade. Now I'm going to show you the right thing to do. The number one thing you got to do is create pain. Pain changes the game. You got to create that pain. As he stabs, number one, I zone. I zone, I'm out of the way of the blade, okay? So I went outside this time. But when I went outside here, I'm deflecting it, and I'm hitting right here. Right off the bat, I'm going, I'm creating pain, okay? Now he stabs at me again. Maybe this time I went inside. But the thing is, as this is happening, I am out of the way of this blade, and I'm doing what? I'm creating pain and going on. Okay, do you see that? All right. So what we're doing is, is we're dealing with energy. But right off the bat, as that comes, I'm deflecting this blade and I'm hitting. Same time, I'm hitting. I am hitting. So I could hit, I could kick, I could what? But I am creating pain. Now, if he or that person wanted to come with something off the other side, I just created pain. Okay, which is going to interrupt them, which is going to slow that down from happening. And then the concept is what? I continue creating pain. Okay, so I'm going to show different things on how we could create pain. Now, I want you to understand, too, this is off of the stab, and this is close quarter. You could be back against the wall. Okay, you could be in a hallway somewhere, you could be in a bathroom somewhere, somebody pulls a blade out. So this is close quarters. The number one thing to do if somebody pulls a blade out, number one, our concept is fly. And we know we can't fly. But I'm saying fly because that's how serious a blade is. You get into a knife fight. Whether you have a knife or you don't, what they do, you're going to get cut. The odds are you are going to get cut, but you want to survive this. So our next scenario is run. Get the hell out of there. Run. Take off. There's no shame in running. We train the Navy SEALs to run. There's no shame in running. Run, get out of there. The third one is get an equalizer. Spit, take your shoe off, grab anything whatsoever, get an equalizer, trying to defend the snake, trying to get that blade out of the hand. But right now we're talking close quarter. So your best thing to do is pain. So what I showed you in that is we're deflecting this, okay? We're never blocking, we're never doing anything like that. We're deflecting it and we're going into pain okay okay so we're going into pain so that was the stab here now we're going to look at somebody stabbing holding what we would call ice pick okay okay or we would call earth because the blade would be pointed down if they're holding the blade like this and it's up we call that heaven so check out this video here i'm going to show you of what not to do all right, check it out. Okay, how you doing? 
right, this is what not to do. So if a guy is coming at you with the blade, where I try to block this, because why? This is here, okay? And if he's strong, and this just goes through, I'm right here. Because the people are not moving, okay? Another one I see people go here. They grab, they want to grab. They always want to grab. Always understand, you have to be aware of this other side, because something is going to come from the other side. And if you grab, here. You're going yeah, into a struggle. You want to hit on the first beat. Everywhere. That's what Bruce was great about. He hit on the first beat. Okay? So this is something you don't want to do. Another thing is, I'm here, I'm right in the way of the beat. This is what you don't want to do. Okay. So you see this person coming this way to stab. You do not want to block. You do not want to grab the hand. You want to create pain. You want to try to deflect that, but you want to create pain. Whether you hit them, whether you kick them, things, whatever, pain, and then more pain, more pain. That's what you want to, that's exactly what you want to do. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we train it and what to do. Now as he's coming with the play, number one thing is, I'm deflecting this. I'm letting it go. I'm out of the way of the blade, and I'm striking. Right here. That's it. So I can do this here, like this here, but I'm striking. I'm out of the way of the blade. Or if he comes to me, I can bury it and go here. But I'm always here. As he comes, I'm out of the way. Okay? So I can strike. Strike. And I can kick. Numerous things I could do here. But what am I doing on the first beat? I am creating pain. Okay, so you see the difference there? We flow, but we create pain. We create pain. As that is coming, we create pain. And we continue on with the pain. Now, what we're looking at here is somebody stabbing. Okay? So it is a lot easier, not that it's easy, but it's a lot easier to deal with somebody stabbing at you than somebody slicing at you. Okay, but we're going to continue on talking about somebody stabbing at you, trying to stab through you, just trying to stab maybe you numerous times, which, whatsoever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to show you some drills right now, how to deal with somebody in an ice pick position and they're stabbing at you. So these are drills. What we're learning to do with these drills, we're developing muscle memory, body mechanics, and sensitivity, touch, reading pressure, which is very, very, very important. So check this video out. Here. Okay, so here, so right. what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a couple that comes in. Uh, yes. drills that we do right. with now, the blade okay. for body okay. mechanics, for attributes, okay? So he's going to come to me here on number one. I'm just going to pick it up and he's slicing. What I'm doing, I'm out of the way. And as this is coming, I'm trying to and I'm just flowing with it. And I'm sticking to him for right now. Now he could stab. He could go in and come straight. And stab. He's sticking with him for right now. What I'm doing. Okay, for the reading of the pressure, for the sensitivity. Okay, so you see how we're flowing? Okay, now this is just a basic drill that we're doing right there. A very basic drill, and you add to that as you go. That can go on, we can take that drill and create a fight out of it. We could be kicking, we could be arm wrenching, we could be head button, numerous things going to go on. Okay, now again, we're in close quarter. So this is what we're dealing with. So we have to deal with the blade because we're right there. If we were so far away, we'd run. Okay, and if we can't run and we're in long range, we're still going to try to defang the snake. Okay, so defanging the snake is getting rid of that blade. But if the blade comes to me and I hit the person in the eye, that's sure going to help. And then I'm going to continue on with more pain and with more pain. Okay, so I want you to understand the seriousness behind 
a blade. This blade is no a blade is no joke. Now what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the slice. Okay, when we're messing with the blade, you know, you have five animals attack. You know, I see people with 12, I see them up to 20 something. That's up to each individual individual. We have five angles attack. Okay, I'll explain that in the video. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to go into the slicing game. Okay, we're going to go into the slicing game. So somebody has a blade, okay, and they sliced at you this way, and now they're trying to come back at you. Imagine somebody with a ball bat. They got a ball bat, and they swing at you here, and they swung back this way, and they swung at you this way. A guy swing at you with a ball bat like that, or if he's poking at you with the ball bat. Which one would be easier? So the slice is way more difficult. Now besides that, how we look at it, if you stab, you hit one spot. Okay? I've seen in the paper out here where I live, where an 80-year-old woman got stabbed something like 70 times and lived. And the reason why, I never hit a vital spot. And thank God for that. So I stab... Okay, but if I sliced, I could cover the whole body. And the slice is going to be deep. You seen that piece of meat? All it is, just like that there. No effort, no nothing. And you see what happened to that piece of meat. That is your arm. That is your body. That is how serious a blade is. Why we're saying run. Run, run, run. So I want you to check out this video. Okay. Now we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you some slicing. Okay, I'm going to show you a drill where we're slicing and we're following that to read that pressure, okay, and to deal with the blade. So check this video out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a flowing drill with the knife in an ice pick uh, position. Always remember, always remember we train sensitivity attributes. So we start out today, we're just going to go back and forth, right here. But that's how I want to move that way. So this is all we're going to do. You can relate this to a cross. When you see the mechanics, this is what we want. Again, this is sensitivity training. Now this is just very basic. This could go into all kinds of different things. So I'm just showing you very basic Stuff to flow. Okay, so you see that there? So now we're working on five angles. We're sticking. So we're not running away for right now because we're creating body mechanics, learning to read. We're not hitting yet. We're just sticking and moving. These are basic drills that I'm just showing right now to give you an idea of how we train and to give you an idea of the blade. So these basic, you see how we're sticking and we're flowing with this and we're moving. Okay. Okay. What do you think? See? So it ain't so easy. Somebody said them slice, they come back and forth. It ain't so easy to deal with that. Not whatsoever. And the only way you can deal with that, if they got close enough, you could try to hit the hand, defend the snake, maybe poke the eye, kick the groin, whatsoever. But it's not easy. Okay, but we do this training mainly for at attributes, but at the same time, it's giving us awareness of this blade. Now, as far as any weapon, I carry a blade on me. I believe the best weapon to carry is a blade. Now, I'm not telling you by no means to go get a blade and carry it. But I am telling you that that, to me, my personal opinion, that is the best weapon to have on you, okay? When you look at this here, you, there's four corners. All you have to do is keep this blade here and dice anything that comes in. It's like, this is like a fan blade, and you're trying to stick your hand in there, okay? So that is my concept. That is the best thing to do is carry a blade. It doesn't have to be a big one. Just a little one, and this is to protect yourself. We're always about protecting yourself. We're never about creating a fight, okay? The concept is you always walk away, get away, run away. It doesn't matter. The only time that you fight is to protect yourself 
and your loved ones, okay? And then you do what you have to, you have to do. But we hope that none of you ever have to do any of this stuff. But as far as training, I'm also showing you different ways that we train, okay? So, with that said, understanding what we would talk about now would be disarms, blade disarms. Okay, uh, your best disarm is definitely if you're back out of the way and you can grab something, hit the hand. That's your best disarm. But we're looking at close quarter now, okay? So we're going to show some disarms out of a drill, okay? Close quarter. Now, I like the disarms. The disarms, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I like the disarms. The disarms are great sensitivity training, okay? But you're not going to pull these off the way I'm going to show them. I don't believe. And if you do, thank God. It's just like I see these people with a, a gun. Somebody got a gun stuck in their head. They're also, boom, now I got the gun. Bull crap. Bull crap. <laughs> it's not happening. You may have a very small percentage of somebody that could do that. And, and then they're training that all the time. And they probably had a gun put in their face 50,000 times. So they're used to it. Me, I had a gun put in my face. I guarantee I'd be scared to death, nervous, and all that stuff. So back to the blade, we're talking about disarms. So what I'm going to do in close quarter, I'm going to show you a couple disarms, okay? I'll show you the disarms from like a standstill point. Then I'll show you the disarms out of a drill to we learning to read them and pick them up, okay? Now again... This is something that, you know, is you don't want to sit there and look in a knife fight, wait for a person to stab to you and try to disarm. But if you always look, when I go to disarm, I'm always creating pain. Always creating pain, deflecting and creating pain, however it is. So give this a shot. Check this video out. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is disarms. Now on the show I talked about them to where, you know, they're, they're great training things as far as literally pulling them off in the fight. I don't know if it would happen, but it's, they're great to know and they're great training and great sensitivity. So the first one is, is let's say he stabs to me here. Now again, I can pick this up like this here, and as he stabs, I create pain. I shoot and I'm out of the way to blade and I create pain. Now from right here, I can take this back to right here. And notice what I'm doing, I'm taking this towards his stomach and taking the blade. So it could happen when he comes, I shoot, I go back. I could end up having the blade. I also shoot, I hit, and I come back. You're just right here. Okay? So that's one. Now we see as he stabs, again I shoot. Okay? So I'm on outside, I can go outside. I could go inside. From right there, I'm coming here, I'm falling, and I'm picking up, I'm getting control. I'm taking the blade out this way. So one more time, he stabs, I can shoot here, I'm shooting the blade out this way. Okay? And this is the last one, and not that I'm putting an ice pick, not that I'm really game with this, but as he comes, I shoot. Now watch what I do here. When I shoot, I turn it. And if you look, you turn this way. I am on the flat of the blade. Now, okay, I'm on the flat of the blade. And as he comes, I shoot, I'm on the flat of the blade, and I shoot. Now, like I said before, these are disarms for the training elements, okay? So give them a shot, but keep in mind how dangerous a blade is. Okay, so you see, you see that video there, so the disarms, 
They are pretty. They're nice. I'm not saying they wouldn't work. Okay? I'm not saying that whatsoever. Okay? So, we play with them and we train them and we do it for reading pressure, for that sensitivity, for all kinds of things, for different attributes. And in case it was ever happened, you may be able to pull that off. And I hope you can. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm not going to sit here and go, guaranteed do A, B, and C, and D is going to work. Things just don't get happen that way. Get up in the morning, plan your day on a piece of paper, see if it goes that way. So why in a fight, anything, why would you think it was going to go exactly the way that you have planned it? It's not. That is a movie. Okay? Thank you for checking out our show. Tell people about it. Like us. Subscribe. We really, really appreciate anything at all that you would like me to go over. Show a video on. Talk about what's what. Send me a message. Email me. Text me. Put a comment down. Okay? I try to read all the comments and, and let you know how much we appreciate you. We appreciate you very much. Okay? Thank you. God bless. And stay safe out there.